2020 is an unprecedented year for all of us, as well as our country's guardsmen and women, who have all been called to serve in a range of capacities like never before, from being activated for protests to helping with the election and COVID-19, the National Guard is fighting a very different kind of warfare in 2020. Here in Deer Lodge, Montana, at the Montana State Prison, security fencing is meant to protect people on the outside, but it's the National Guard who's called to protect people on the inside. Soldiers know their jobs come with a risk, but here it's an invisible enemy they're fighting against, an outbreak of COVID-19. In a prison of 2,100 inmates and staff, 375 have been infected as of last check, but these 67 volunteer soldiers are here now in hopes to get the virus contained. Meanwhile, across the country, National Guard members have been enacted to help on a different front, processing mail-in ballots for our nation's general election. It's definitely a change. It's different. The military getting involved in an election is kind of a gray area, the Guard says. So while they're technically active duty, the Guard's members are not wearing their uniforms because they're acting in a civilian role. I'm just uh, organizing things, alphabetizing things, which obviously will help them in their process and do things a lot more efficiently. Um, it feels really good to be helping in, in, a, in the local community. With fewer available poll workers because of COVID and more mail-in ballots this year, more states than ever called in their military for election help. Reporting for Newsnet, I'm Abigail Taylor.